the beer of the today is somewhat Belgian. I did not realize it was somewhat Belgian until I grabbed it out of the fridge, and now I'm a little bit scared. What be going down, people of the world? Redbeard here, coming at you from his couch. Welcome back to another daily drink vlog for the beer of the today. We've got a can of Orange Vice Summer White by the Amsterdam Brewery. Yeah, I've had this for, what, a month or so, I think? I think I picked it up, like, just as it was leaving the LCBO stores, because it's it's not available currently, I don't think. It's not summer anymore. So, um, yeah, pretty sure it's still good, though, even though I'm not seeing a date or ingredients on this can, which is mildly disappointing. Let's crack her open. See what we've got. Yeah. Looks like uh looks decent, actually. It looks quite pretty. Doesn't seem overly hazy. Hoping for not a whole lot of Belgian yeastiness. As always, all the thanks in the whole wide world when you watch my videos. The beard loves you also very, 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 very much. Yeah, really quite nice looking beer. Let's see how she smells. Smells a little bit Belgian. I mean, a little bit of the orange in the aroma, but also a little bit of the yeast in the aroma. So, optimism. It's going to be good. Let's give her a shot. Very much along the lines of, say, that papaya saison that I had. Saison, Belgian white, both kind of have the yeasty overtones, and the papaya kind of mellowed that out. The orange kind of mellows this out a little bit. It's not something really that I'd prefer, <laughs> I don't think ever, but it's not too bad. It's okay. Let's do this. Cheers, everybody. It's nice is that the lingering flavors that kind of kick around for a few seconds are definitely more orange than yeast. So, thumbs up on that. Today being October 14th, on this date in 1962, the Cuban Missile Crisis began. A U.S. Air Force U-2 rec reconnaissance plane and its pilot flew over the island of Cuba and took photographs of Soviet missiles capable of carrying nuclear warheads being installed and erected in Cuba. And yeah, like everybody lost their minds. Everyone thought that Russia was going to put nuclear bombs in Cuba and then it would just be like, you know wouldn't even have to be a long-range missile at all and you could hit pretty much anywhere in the states from Cuba that would be that would be bad more bad than this beer a lot more bad it's got that kind of it's it's kind of refreshing i'll give it that for sure i got it nice and cold and it's not, it's not offensive. It's not delicious or amazing or my style of beer particularly, but it, it's, it's decent for what it is. In 1964, in the state in the past, Martin Luther King Jr. Reserved, received the Nobel Peace Prize for combating racial inequality through nonviolence. Here, here's to you, man, even though you I'm pretty sure he was murdered, like assassinated. Almost positive. I need to find that out now. Ha. In 1968, King was planning a national occupation of Washington, D.C. to be called the Poor People's Campaign when he was assassinated on April 4th in Memphis, Tennessee. Because people are racist. For no reason. At all.
sorry, racism angers me because I just, I don't, I don't, text message, sorry. I don't understand it. It doesn't make any sense to me. We just, we're all people. If you, if you're the kind of person that thinks someone is less of a person than you are because they have a different skin tone or different belief structure or anything like that, then you're an asshole. It should be said, though, that if uh, someone has the belief structure that, say, anyone that doesn't have their belief structure needs to die, then you, you can think of that person as a bit of, a bit less, a lot less of a person. Because, yeah, terrorists and crazy, there's some religions out there that are just, all religions, kind of, but some are more than others. You know what I mean. You know. I was really expecting a lot more orange flavor in this beer. I have to I have to admit that. Like the can's orange, it's got these orange things on it, and it's really not that orangey at all. There's orange there, but not in the not in the amounts that I expected. I may have been a little bit mistaken at the beginning when I said there's no ingredients. There's not a list of ingredients, but there is some stuff here. I wasn't wrong about the date, though. There's an orange dot. See the orange dot? That That's their date. Not cool, Amsterdam. Belgian-style white beer brewed with orange peel, coriander, and anise. Contains wheat and barley. So, that's basically your list of ingredients, but not quite. You could put more stuff on this can. It's actually been a little while since I've had a really, really, really good beer. Like, not a lager. You know, I had that tailgate stuff recently, and that was amazing, but it was a lager. So, I'm talking about like a really good, different style, not kind of mainstream. I don't know. This is decent, and if you like Belgian style white beers, then you'd probably really enjoy this. But it's one of those flavors that I'm hoping the palate mutation will adapt to, kind of thing. Like at the beginning of the year, I couldn't stand an IPA. I couldn't, this I would have hated, like hated, hated. So and things are, they're getting there. I am hoping that this will eventually become something that I thoroughly enjoy. Not there yet, though. On this date in 1968, the first live TV broadcast by American astronauts in orbit performed by the Apollo 7 crew happened. That would have been a pretty awesome event to be around for, seeing people saying hi to you from space and stuff. It'd be cool to go to space. I want to go to space. Probably not a lot of beer in space, though. I'll wait a bit. On this date in 1982, U.S. President Ronald Reagan proclaimed a war on drugs. And at that point, basically made all drugs like the same level like heroin is the same as like marijuana according to that whole thing when it came in when it came into being and um i have to call just a, a little bit of bullshit on that like really really lots of bullshit It's very much just, it's an okay beer. In my, in my mouth's opinion, like, like I've said a million times before, my mouth is not your mouth. We will differ in some areas. But regardless of that, let's, let's kill the orange. Drink numbers are last.
Not a lot of orange. So, Amsterdam Brewery, your Orange Vice Summer White rating. You kind of have ingredients, so I'm not going to dock you for that. But you have no date, so you're losing a point there. And that's going to make it a 6. Would have been a 7. Like like I said, it was, it was okay. Just it wasn't anything. It's just not for me. Yet. Hopefully in the future. And that is going to do it for today's Daily Drink Vlog. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, then be sure to smash that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, then be sure to smash that subscribe button. And if you got something to say to me, then put some comments in the box down below. But thanks again, and I'll be back with another Daily Drink Vlog tomorrow. Peace out! There be some beers in the lineup, like I said before, if you don't realize that by now. When I do my shot of grabbing the beer out of the fridge, I'm giving you a little bit of a sneak peek as to what's coming. And there's a few beers upcoming that I, I think might be, uh, might be really, really, really good.